Hello everyone. Welcome to Kumaris Kids channel. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is good. How was your Easter? Did you guys enjoy? I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed too. Look at my eggs. I painted all my eggs. So we are done with Easter now. Let me tell you a story. Then I'm going to sing sing a nursery rhyme after the story. Okay, let's get started. Today's story is going to be about Hansel and Gretel. Hansel is a boy, Gretel is a girl. Once upon a time, there was two children named Hansel and Greta. They lived in a small cottage at the edge of the forest with their father, a poor woodcutter, and their stepmother. One evening, the family had nothing left to eat but a few crust of bread. Hansel and Gretel went to bed hungry as they lay in their beds. They heard their parents talking. There are too many mouths to feed, said their stepmother. We must take the children into the thickest part of the forest and leave them there. Never, cried their father. But the next morning, Hansel and Gretel's stepmother woke them early. Get up, she ordered. We are going to the forest to chop wood. She handed them a, each a crust of bread for their lunch. With a heavy heart, the woodcutter led his children into the forest. As they walked along, Hansel secretly dropped a trail of breadcrumbs along the path. When they reached the middle of the forest, the woodcutter said, Wait here, we will return at sunset. Hansel and Gretel waited all day, but their father and stepmother didn't come back. Soon it was dark among the thick trees. Gretel and Gretel was frightened. Don't worry, said Hansel, cuddling his sister. We'll follow the trail of breadcrumbs. I drop along the path. They will lead us home. But when the moon came up, they couldn't see any crumbs. Oh no, the birds must have eaten them all, whispered Hansel. Hansel and Gretel curved up under a tree and fell fast asleep. The next morning, they wandered through the forest until they came to a little cottage made of gingerbread and cakes. The children were so hungry they picked off they picked cakes off the house and crammed them into their mouth. See this is the cake. They picked the cake and crumbed into their mouths. The house is a cake actually. Just then the door opened. An old woman 
hobbled out. Come in, children, she said, smiling. I've got plenty more food in here. The old woman fed them well and then put them to bed. But Hansel and Gretel didn't know that the old woman was actually a wicked witch who liked to eat children. When Hansel and Gretel woke up, the witch grabbed Hansel and locked him in the cage. See? Hansel is in the cage now. She set Gretel to work cooking huge meals to fatten up Hansel. The weeks went by and every morning the witch went up to the cage asking Hansel to hold out his finger. I want to feel if you are fat enough to eat, she said. Hansel, being a smart boy, held out an old chicken bone instead. The witch's eyesight was so bad that she thought the bone was Hansel's finger. One day, the witch got tired of waiting for the boy to get fatter and decided to cook him right away. Grabbing Gretel's arm, she said, Go and check if the oven is hot enough. And she pushed Gretel towards the open oven door. Graining horribly, she licked her cracked lips. She was planning to eat Gretel too and couldn't wait for her delicious meal. I'm too big to fit in there, said Gretel, guessing the witch's wicked plan. You silly girl, cackled the witch. Even I could fit in there. And she stuck her head inside with the great big shove. Gretel pushed the witch into the oven and slammed the door shut. Hansel, the witch is dead, cried Gretel, unlocking brother's cage. As the children made their way out of their house, they found chests crammed with gold and sparkling jewels. They filled their pockets and set off for home. Their father was overjoyed to see them. He told them that their stepmother had died while they were gone, so they had nothing to fear anymore. Hansel and Gretel showed, showed their father and treasure. Sorry, showed their father the treasure. We will never go hungry again, he cried. And they all lived happily ever. Okay, I'm going to sing a nursery rhyme. I didn't sing a long time ago. Um, this is Five Little Monkeys Nursery Rhyme. Let's sing. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Papa called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Papa called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys 
jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Papa called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Papa called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys straight to bed. This is the end of my nursery rhyme and my storytelling. I will see you guys in the next storytelling. Bye.